this again. Quantum, you are the gift that keeps on giving. So, what do you have to say this time, Quantum TV? Are you going to pull out more bullcrap? Because it seems to be about uh, Mixie One. Let's see what the racist son of a butch has to say. YouTube flagged you. You call yourself Minxy One, I call you the Aggie Ass Doppelganger. You both look the same to me, so I think you're distant relatives. It works. At the end of the day, none of that is relevant. What is relevant is your lie that you never showed up in the copyright ID tool for QTV. Yes, you did. And it's right here. I didn't copyright claim you because I don't care about scrubbing your dissenting voice. So your lie about being a copyright abuser and going after every smaller channel or anyone who has a dissenting voice to silence criticism because he can't handle it, he got his feelings hurt, is you just projecting the fact that you want to be a thief like the people in California? Um, uh, let's see here. First off, um, how is Mixie One related to Ackman? Give us a reason, Quam. Give us a fudge and reach reason. Is because they're both white? I'll be careful what I say, Quantum. Do I need to bring back what you said in the Batman? Your review of the Batman? Where you called someone a... Oh, I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? A hybrid? Yeah. I would straight up watch what you say before someone strikes you back like that. Now, let's see. What else did he say? Oh, he... Calls Mixie One a thief. That she goes around doing this stuff. Um, no, Quantum. It is you. You are the one that goes around copyright claiming smaller YouTube channels. Like Soru. And Hypocritic Hunter 666. And you struck him, and guess what happened? They got their video back. Because they went to Gara, Mixie One, and Kristen Ark. They went to them for help. And what did they do? What did those three do? They helped. You are a freaking failure at doing your job on YouTube. Let's continue. California looting and raiding stores and getting a slap on the wrist. That's really what this is about. You want to be a thief and you don't want anyone to say anything in your direction. Because the reality is, YouTube identified you as an infringer. Now, the copyright ID tool doesn't always get it right. Sometimes the copyright ID tool picks up on things that aren't copyright violations, like Samsung demos that I show that other people use. I didn't make that demo, but I still have that content. So sometimes it gets it wrong, but that's- Oh, gets it wrong, eh? So are you telling us that you got flagged by Samsung Quantum? You got a strike on your channel now? Show us. Show us your evidence. I would love to see it. Let's continue. What the beauty of the copyright ID tool is. They literally give you a timestamp and they show you the percentage used so you can check it for yourself. And I check it and guess what happens? I see your video. I see you as a creator. And I verify that it is what it is. And upon verification, you guys don't like that some of you get DMCA claims because I don't think what you're doing is fair. I don't think... Um, yes, Quan, what they are doing is fair. It's called a transformative videos. They're using their own stuff to put it in your videos through fair use, like I'm doing. Pausing your video and me talking counts as fair use. You, sir need to go back to college, go back to high school, and learn how fair use actually works. Because right now, folks, you see this image right here? This is the exact same image that Quan TV used before. And if you look at the bottom of that image, you will see that it doesn't matter. As long as it's for critic usage, that we've all been doing on you. Your copyright striking us means jack crap. As long as we're doing it fairly and under the fair use of YouTube. You, sir, clearly don't know. Let's continue. 
think you should be entitled to 100% of a video. How dare I, right? You should be able to walk into any retail store and just clear the shelves off and put it in a garbage bag so long as it's under $1,000, right? Fucking s Okay, how the heck does a going into a going to a grocery store or any kind of store with a garbage bag, putting stuff in, stealing, how is that related to this? If you're giving up an example, I don't understand it. I don't understand it one bit. Scum. I mean, the world needs to really stop pacifying this entitled behavior and start dealing with it head on. And, and until that happens, we're going to keep dealing with creators like you who like to sit up here and say, we're champions of free speech. We love fairness and we hate ab copyright abusers, but also we like violating TOS by harassing and cyberbullying other creators across multiple uploads spanning hours upon hours upon hours of just talking shit about someone else. We build communities off of hating other people. And we no, Quantum, we did not. We, we it's you that create those kind of communities because you can't stand being talked badly of your actions. None of this would have ever happened if you had done a fair thing with Elden Ring. If you had done a fair thing with Elden Ring and been more decently and nice to the game, I'm not saying you need to be like a whole 10 out of 10. Like you want to be like maybe like a 5 or a 6? Okay. But yes, you're also entitled to your opinion. But what you're not entitled to is going off and telling people they should go and kill themselves. How many times do we need to remind you, Quam TV? How many times do we need to remind you as to why this happened in the first place? Elden Ring. Encourage other people to join our communities where all we do is hate on others. We don't spread happiness or peace, just our hatred of other creators. Wonderful. Meanwhile, you're over here getting bent out of shape anytime you fucking get a DMCA claim because in those hateful ass videos, like, sometimes y'all cross the line and steal too much? Like, come the fuck on, man. Make it make sense. If you get labeled as an infringer, that's your fault. To give you an example of, like, commentary not being enough also for people who like to say, we can steal 100% of the video so long as we give commentary, DBZ Anto just got labeled as reused content, and he's like one of the biggest Dragon Ball Z anime gaming creators there is. I challenge all of you to go pick this fair use battle with a big corporation that can take your sorry asses to court and run you the fuck dry. Because I tell you right- Oh, I wouldn't be talking, Quantum. Gara has that video and he's been able to get connections to certain companies that about you using their stuff. So, think before you react. Oh, you're gonna cry about it? Go ahead. The only people that are gonna care about you are your fans. That's all you have. Well, probably maybe your folks, but oh well. Unless they're smart enough. Right now, you won't pick those fights with people who can actually fight back. You pick it with everyday people, like yourselves. Because you know they don't care as much about us as they do about their backers. And you won't ever fucking fight that fight. Because you know, everything I'm saying is right. But if you don't believe- Okay, you say that everything is- Everything you say is right. Then how come people are starting to get back their quantum videos off you back? Answer that. Believe me, try, test your luck. Do an experiment. Show us how it ends for you. Steal 100% of their videos, pausing and playing it. Show sports team logos and jerseys and live events. Go ahead, bro. Just give commentary on a live event. What's wrong with that? Right? You're giving commentary. It's fair use. You scum need to know your place in this world, man. You're not... No, Quanta, you need to know your place. This isn't your reality. This is real world reality. Get that stupid Trump like brain of yours and get it out of your head and put back into realism. Not entitled to steal from other people. But again, California's got y'all a little confused, right? You think you can just walk into stores and so long as it's under $1,000, ain't nothing gonna happen, no way. And so long as the world makes laws like that. Again, how does that compare to this? How? We're talking grocery stores for food. And this is about 
fair use copyright stuff. Does that make sense, folks? Does that make sense? No? Then good for you. And continues to pacify bad behavior, criminal behavior, like it's never going to end. And that's where people like me step in. We fight back. We stand up for ourselves and our rights and our values. And if you don't like it, that is tough. He is the one who should be talking. Well, you know what, Quan TB? I'm going to call you out for this. Go ahead. Strike my channel. Strike this video. Strike any of my Quan TV videos I made of you. Do it. I beg you to do it. Just do it. Because you already know what's going to happen. They're just all going to go back up once I inform Mixie Wong, Gara, and Chris about it. You know what, here. I'll just go ahead and put the thumbnail out saying, do it. I'll make even a title. I'll say, just do it. Just strike me. And you already know what's going to happen. Anyway, this is going to be a short Quan TV video. Thank you all for joining me. And if you enjoyed today's video, please share, like, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you all for the next video. Hopefully this will be the last god-awful Quan TV video I ever had to listen to. Have a nice day.